All right, this just came in exactly like five minutes ago. This is the IAG uh, Bronco Grill mat. I'm, I'm going to say it's the uh, Bronco Angry Grill version. I already opened it up or removed the tape. And this is how the packaging looks like. And here's the wiring right here. So it also comes with the Bronco lettering, but their Bronco lettering is different from the Bronco OEM. So this is how the B looks like. I'm just unwrapping it right now. So the um, three ember lights is already in there already. So far, this is how it looks like. So this is how the back piece. Basically, you're just putting it together or connecting it there. Yeah. There you go. We have now a Bronco Oh, it looks grill. nice. I know. It's it really... looks different. Yeah. Because here, well, we can show them the original one. Oh, this is our OEM, our original one. Yeah, this one in the bottom. Yeah, the bottom looks... The B looks different. The R looks almost the same. Mm -hmm. The O is like that, almost the same. And it's the same. The C it looks almost the same and the O. Yeah. So the only difference is the B, the B and the R. That's the R. it. We are now going to swap or change the grill. Um, but before we do that, we need these kind of tools. Yeah. We need to remove the, the pre-runner. Okay. Open this so we can remove the winch and then we can remove the grill. Wow. Yeah. So if, if you guys don't have this and this, this will be so much easier. Yeah. Oh. For now, um, starting to remove it and we'll, we're using the Allen wrench. And then now, we're going to remove the cover yeah. for this so we can hold the, 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 bolts, screws the bolts underneath those uh, um, screws here. We got one loosened. <laughs> oh, go. there you go. And we needed this 15 yeah. to remove the bottom of this screw. Yeah. So now we are moving on to the winch or just removing all the or loosening all the bolts underneath so we can just move the winch away. Maybe we can just do it like this. Yeah, maybe we should just do it like that. Because now there's room now. We just finished popping the hood. Yeah. And then uh, this is where the real fun begins. Mm -hmm. This was the boring part. Just uh, using our plastic remover. Yeah. To, to remove, remove all the pins. All the pins. So we're still removing all of the plastic screws. Yeah. We're almost done already. Yeah, just a few more to go. So after removing all the pins, we're now ready to lift this cover up or out. Yeah, we'll just probably move it. Yeah, just, like just move it in the side. There you go. And just remove the screw. This bolt. Yep, or the bolts that's right there. There, there, and there. We use the number 10 to remove the bolts here. So after pulling the grill out, we now have to remove the wirings that's connected to the grill. Right there. After disconnecting the wires, we're now removing the grill. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Had to uh, remove the zip ties from our fender liner so we could go inside the What's this light light box that's tucked inside here to remove the RTR lights wiring so we could reconnect everything back to normal. We're now working on the driver's side yeah. and we have this tied up. Uh, we cut the zip ties mm -hmm. holding the bottom part of the fender and she is now going to disconnect the RTR wiring. Well, we're now reading the instructions. We're now actually in step four. We need to take off the screws from the back of the grill by using cross screwdriver and then
put it behind so basically uh the original grill has this stuff right here in the back and we would have to remove that and transfer it in our new grill yeah. so we got our original oem bronco grill and we are now going to remove this part right there so there's six screw that we need to remove from the oem grill and i'm using a t25 then we'll remove this part of the the grill to swap it to the new grill all screws are out then there we just need to move this over to the new grill cool i haven't installed the the part that's that came from the oem grill because there's this three wiring harness here or pigtail from the new <laughs> the amber lights the amber light. so now i'm just trying to see how are we gonna route the the wiring before we install this piece we're putting the wiring harness because we wanted to put it underneath before we put this part on top of it it's pretty simple yeah. just they're just clip-ons yeah which is nice after she connected the wiring she's now placing that uh what's that that plastic cover yeah on top of it yeah. well she's now screwing that plastic cover from the oem so basically that plastic cover is the cover for the wire so after doing step four and five and six we're now in step seven we're now going to install the bronco lettering so this is the screw that comes with it yeah that we're gonna screw behind the lettering after installing the letters we are now going to install the clips yeah. for uh for this <laughs> so we could clip it on yeah so this for the uh, we install the clips. So we are able to snap the clips in the body of the car or yeah. the front we finish applying the grill or clipping on the grill and we are now screwing it back on so we already screwed uh what two holes already so we just gotta screw this part in now and then another one we just finish installing our new grill and now we're not completely done yet we need to now uh, connect the wiring for the three amber light yep. which is on top of here so the wiring for the uh, amber light what we did was based on the, the instru instructions, instructions um, we had to remove the number 10 uh, fuse here so and then we replace it with the wiring harness so it will be like here the second second slot over here and then you just put this so we're just gonna grab it somewhere here all right cool yeah. all right guys we're back here at cappy's and they got me the quesadilla with chorizo and she got herself quesadilla with bacon yeah. all right let's do this we need to remove this oh we do runner. yeah we need to remove the the pre-runner okay. open this so we can remove the winch and then we can remove the grill wow and replace remove. remove all of yeah this sucks <laughs> uh, we already finished installing the bumper i mean the grill i keep on saying bumper we finished installing our new bumper grill 